topics this morning is assembling and disassembling of CPU filter system. First and foremost, this is the fixing wherein uh, we are going to attach the motherboard, the hard drive, and the IO plate. Power supply is considered uh, part of the casing, so it is basically uh, already installed there. So first, uh, we have to attach the IO plate in the back of the CPU casing. Okay, this is in place. Now, uh, orient the uh, casing so motherboard that it will fit in the I.O. plate. I.O. plate here. There are four holes for the screws. Then, once it is fitted in the IO plate, the external ports, we will now screw the motherboard in place. Select four screws. And then attach the power supply collector. The power supply of this casing is uh, full ETX or ETX 2.0 wherein it has 24 pins. Then, and then the secondary connectors. Then you have to attach the hard drive in the drive thing. It is the can be so there are two holes for the screws so that the hard drive can be. Then uh, you can uh, attach the connectors for the audio and the front panel USB. No, so it depends on the casing. So for the audio, so this is the audio connector in the motherboard. USB so there 
this is the two connectors here so you can attach the here this is for the gun in case you have to uh, insert USB in the when the computer is operational so next is the connectors lead connectors LED this is for the uh, light here light here for the indicator that it has uh, hard drive activity because uh, the computer is on no? so there are basically four lead connectors here we have the power lead power lead the reset switch and the HDD and the uh, power button okay So locate the connectors here, attach for the power, for the reset, for the hard disk lead, for hard disk activity, here, then for the power, power lead. After which they connect the SATA cable for the hard drive. So there are four USB uh, SATA ports here. So it must start with SATA port zero. Okay. There are four ports here for SATA connectors. So so zero, one, two, three. So it starts with zero, then attach the SATA cable, then locate the SATA connector for the hard drive. Then attach the power supply connector, SATA connector okay. if you have a uh, DVD drive or DVD writer you can uh, insert it here so that when you install the operating system in the new assemble computer system it is easy for you to assemble now this task is to detach what I have installed in uh, earlier so first and foremost you have you have to detach the hard disk connector okay so Maybe you can start with the power supply connector, hard disk connector. Then is a SATA cable. Okay. Then next is the LED connectors. No? There are four of them: IDE lead, power switch, power lead, and reset. Okay. Next. You can detach the USB connector, front USB connector, and the audio connector. These connectors are present in the CPU casing. After which, it's either you have to detach the hard disk drive. Okay. So the hard disk drive or the storage is a Western Digital 1 terabyte SATA next detach the power supply connector you see Kandari then the main power supply connector okay. so what remains is the motherboard in the uh, 
chassis so the next step it's either you remove the board or you remove the power supply but first we will remove the power supply uh, motherboard we have four screws locate the four screws uh, unscrew them one two You can detach back the motherboard. Okay. Then remove the I.O. plate. Okay. Then remove the power supply. Uh, ETX power supply. Pull it the X. Okay. So this is the 650 watts power supply. So what remains in the casing is just the casing itself. Okay. Now, in the main board that I have detached, there is still two components. The system RAM, no? so, which I can remove. Here and then the uh, processor. Next is detach the CPU cooler or the processor. Okay, you can either untwist the four uh, locks here. CPU cooler. Next is the processor itself. Okay, to remove that one, just unhook the lever here. Then processor. This is the processor Intel Core i3. That's it. After uh, unhook the after unhooking the lever, so you can now remove the microprocessor. Then put it in its place here. So the microprocessor is Intel Core i3 uh, LCA 1150 and the memory is DDR4 uh, 4GB uh, 4GB so you can now record the leader if you want close the so that's it in Assembling and disassembling of the system.